Power Wizard 1.1. P88-1 Red shutdown light, a flashing red light indicates that there are unacknowledged active shutdown events. A solid red light indicates that there are acknowledged shutdown events active. If there are any active shutdown events the red light will change from flashing red to solid red after the alarm acknowledge key is pressed. Any condition that has caused a shutdown event must be manually reset. If there are no longer any active shutdown events, the red light will turn off. Generator control not in auto. This generator is not in auto, it is in run mode. I'm going to scroll down to see the fault. Engine failure to start active. Fault number two. I need to scroll down to see the hours. Twenty thousand two hundred and seventy five hours, which mean it has occurred at twenty thousand two hundred and seventy five. I'm going to press the stop button to reset the event. Make sure the generator is in stop mode, otherwise, the event cannot be reset. It is in stop mode the green LED is on at the stop button. Now the event is inactive. The red shutdown light is off. Now I'm going to check the engine running hours at the engine overview. There we go 20,275 now we are sure the engine shut down at 20275. I press the run key let's see whether the engine starts or refuse to start. Obviously there is open circuit the starter motor is not running. At the control panel as you can see it shows starting but it is not cranking. No crank. I'm not sure there is open circuit or we have a bad solenoid. There is no loose connection, the cables look good. You can use a test light or a multimeter to diagnose. I'd like to use my test light to confirm there is power at the solenoid. Later I'll check the voltage by multimeter as well. This is the negative terminal, I'm going to connect the alligator clip to the negative make sure it is connected well. There is no power at the starter motor solenoid. There is open circuit somewhere. I need to see the event to make sure we have only one active error. The same reading. Engine failure to start. Now we are going to open panel screws and will check the power at the starter relay. FCR is the fuel control relay. ECR is controlling the starter motor. I have to pull the connector out. We should have power at the relay circuit. Remember guys the negative circuit of this relay controlling by the genset controller and the positive circuits should have constant power 12 volts.
first I'm going to check the positive circuits. There is power at the relay feed. If you check the wiring diagram, this is pin number 30. In this generator, pin 85 is the positive circuit of the relay coil which has power and the negative circuit is controlling by genset control. We are going to press the run key. Now we are going to check the negative circuit of the relay. I'm going to use this paper clip so that I can connect the test light to the negative side. There we go, we have a bad relay. There is no open circuit anyway, I have to replace the starter relay. Look at my test light. It goes on and off. The genset controller trying to start the engine. All the circuits are good. I got the new relay. This is a 12 volts and 40 amps relay. 85 and 86 is the relay coil or relay control circuits 30 and 87 is normally open. I'm going to test the generator, I'll fix the relay later. I'm going to stop it and crank again. If this video helped you out, check my generator repair videos and my channel playlist. Find the link in the description below.